DJ, um, last year you um, say they really struggled at, at times, but this year since the Georgia game, you guys have uh, um, been playing really well. What, what, what do you attribute to the difference and what do you think you guys are uh, doing better? Um, from last year to this year, we think everything's simpler. Um, not said we could, we couldn't catch on things last year, but we but this year things more simpler. We playing more more coverages that we that we want to play, and um, we just challenging receivers this year. We didn't do a good job of that last year. We challenging receivers this year. We playing with a lot of confidence. Great, Scott. Hey, Scott. Um, when you say you're playing coverage and you want to play, does that mean more more man to man? I'm sure you guys are pretty confident. Want to, I'd rather play man to man than play to sit back and play zone. Yeah, we play a lot of man to man, but we also play a lot of other things too. But you know, a lot of corners corners want to play man to man, and we're doing a good job of playing it. Um, you guys still control your own destiny in the SEC East. Um, have you guys talked about that <coughs> going into this game? I mean, last year this game was. Was, was almost a throwaway for you guys, but this year, I mean, this is this is about you know maintaining control away from Georgia. Yes, sir. We know that we um, we control our own destiny. We can't worry about Georgia. We can't worry about nobody, no other team. But we gotta worry about Arkansas. It's a do or die game, and we gotta have it to, to accomplish a lot of our goals. Are you guys out to prove something against Arkansas last year? They did a very good job in the air against you guys, and resulted in a forty-one to twenty win. So you guys have to prove something against them. Most definitely, the last two years, when we went down there my freshman year, they embarrassed us at their own place, and they embarrassed us at our own home field last year, and it'll be, it'll be nice to go down there and buy it and embarrass them. DJ, what are your thoughts on the Arkansas quarterback, Tyler Wilson? He's kind of got a reputation right now as being a particularly tough quarterback. Oh, he's a very good quarterback. I've been watching him on film, and he makes a lot of good throws, and we're going to have to play with good technique. And you know, just be ready to play when the time comes. As a defensive unit, do you guys feel like you need to, you know, do a little bit more of the work with Marcus out and the offense not clicking as well as it was earlier this year? Do you feel like there's a little sense of pressure to make sure that the opponent doesn't get in the end zone? Maybe even a little more so than you typically do. Well, all year we we preached on not letting opponents get in our end zone, and uh, with Marcus being out. It really doesn't put any pressure on us, but we know we have to we have to pick up the game more. I mean, B Wise has been doing good in that so I mean the defense is just gonna just get, do what we've been doing. DJ your two interceptions this past couple of weeks, both him, you know, at such key times, you know, is, are there times when, when an interception feels one interception feels better than another as far as the timing of the game? Most definitely. Big players make big plays and big time situations and that's what I try to do. That's what all of us try to do. You know, that's what that's how you get championship defense when you make big plays when you when you need them. And that's what we we've, we've been doing all year. Do you guys think you're a better cover team than you have been in, in years past? Because you guys don't bring a lot of pressure. It's usually just the front pressure from the line that goes after the quarterback. You guys generally drop in the coverage. Do you guys feel like you're doing a better job at doing so this year than you have in the previous? <clears throat> Yeah, with the defensive line we got, we really don't have the same pressure like that. With those guys up there, they're fast, big, and strong, and it just it helps us. It helps us in coverage. We can drop more back because we know Jadavion, Melvin, and Trey, and all those guys, Kelsey, are going to get to the quarterback. So it just it give it gives us more confidence. And vice versa, the the uh, D line knows that we're going to be having tight coverage. So it just it just helps support defense. DJ, Coach Spurrier talked about how um, he and Ellis made things um, simpler after the Georgia game. Uh, when they did that, did it make things more enjoyable for the defense? Because it looks like uh, you guys are really having fun out there, um, um, the, way, the way you're running around. Is it isn't because maybe now you don't have to worry so much about your assignments and, um, you know, blowing something? You can say that we, we probably don't have to make a lot of those checks that we were making. And it makes the defense simpler, and it gives us more confidence when we don't have to think about a play. We can just go out there and have fun, and that's one thing that we want to do while we're playing football is have fun. That's what we've been doing. Anything else for DJ? Thank you.